Chapter 1 Introduction to MS Access 2007 Learning Plan What is a database? What is a table? What is data? Getting started Parts of access screen Creating a table Viewing and adding data to a table Mighty, is there any program where we can store different types of records um, such as students, books, fees? Yes, dear. MS Access is such a program where you can store data in different tables in one file. This file is called a DBMS. Microsoft Access is a database software package. A database is an organized collection of records. Telephone and address books are examples of paper databases. With Access, you can create a computerized database. For example, you can use Access to organize the students who attend a school, the courses they take, and the instructors who teach them. What is a database? A database is defined as an organized collection of data, information on people or things. In draw form, a sheet of paper divided into columns and rows or a table in Microsoft Word or Excel is considered a simple database. Simple table databases are very limited in their uses and would not be considered as a business solution. In Access, information is stored in tables. The information can be seen in tables or through forms and reports. A database will be able to store data in a structured manner across multiple tables, use queries to locate specific information according to given criteria, produce detailed on-screen or printed reports, perform calculations and much more. An example of a multi-table database is a database of classes which might consist of tables showing information on several of these classes, instructors, students and rooms. What is a table? Tables are used to store data in a structured and organized format. As previously mentioned, tables are similar to those of Word and Excel in that they contain rows, records and columns, fields. What is a record or row? A record applies to data entered into a single row of a table. All data in that row would belong to an individual or item. A record would normally include a unique ID number, name, description, plus other relevant information. With each new record, a new row is created. For example, the figure above has all the information on Sam in the row beginning with 1. What is a field column? Each column or field is used to define what specific information is to be entered into that particular column or field. A column titled class for example would signify this to be the place in a record to enter the class name when creating each new record. For example, the figure above has an email address for each row in the column headed street address. What is data? Data is the information entered into tables within the database. Databases are used in businesses and in education often without people realizing they are using a database. Something as simple as entering contact details into the contact or address book section of an email client involves entering data into a database. Data entered will generally be alphabetical, names, addresses or numerical dates, currency. However, Access is also able to store other forms of data such as links to websites, documents created in other programs such as files and images. Data can be entered into the database manually via the keyboard, imported from or linked to external sources or even collected through email or an internet form. Data types. Data types define what type of data will be entered into each field column in a table. If you create a table by typing in the data and new fields, Access will determine the data type for you based on what you type. If you type a name, it sets the type for that field to text. If you type a date, either as 12/9/2010 or December 9/2010, It will set the type to date and time. If you type a digit or digits, it will set the type to number. If you also type a dollar sign as in 49.95 dollars or a specific number of decimal places like 5.00, 
then this will also be included as a numeric field although you can enter data without setting up the fields first you should create the table and specify the data types for each field before entering data you should also set defaults limits and use input masks as needed data type use text alphanumeric data used for text and for numbers that are not used in mathematical calculations used for names addresses and other relatively short pieces of text can store up to 255 characters memo long text used for long pieces of text such as notes and long descriptions can store up to 64000 characters number numeric data used for numbers you want to use in mathematical calculations date and time used for dates and time currency used for currency auto number unique sequential number or random numbers automatically inserted when you create a record used to create a primary key yes no logical data used when only one of two values is valid yes or no true or false etc hyperlink used to store hyperlinks attachment used to store attachments ole object used to attach an ole object such as a word document excel spreadsheet or powerpoint presentation getting started open the start button and choose all programs select microsoft office then click microsoft access 2007 you use windows to interact with access to begin start access 2007 your screen will look similar to the one shown here On entering access you are presented with a screen showing available templates which have been designed to help you create your own databases you can either choose blank database from the available templates or any other form of database from office.com templates once the new database is created the following main access screen will appear parts of access screen the following parts will be appeared on the screen the title bar The title bar is located at the top in the center of the access window. The title bar displays the name of the database on which you are currently working. The ribbon. The following tabs will appear on the top ribbon. Home. Controls changing of fonts, performing queries, copy paste, cut data, etc. Create. Controls creation of tables, forms, reports, etc. external data controls loading data from other data sources into ms access database tools helps manage databases security switchboard etc data sheet these will appear when designing a new table form report etc database objects tables in access the data is stored in tables a table is a set of columns and rows with each column referred to as a field Each value in a field represents a single type of data. Each row of a table is referred to as a record. Queries. You use queries to retrieve specific data from your database and to answer questions about your data. For example, you can use a query to find the names of the employees in your database who live in a particular state. Forms. Forms give you the ability to choose the format and arrangement of fields. You can use a form to enter edit and display data reports reports organize or summarize your data so that you can print it or view it on screen you often use reports when you want to analyze your data or present your data to others creating a table in access 2007 the create new table tab should already be highlighted and a new table named table 1 created If this is not the case, click on the home tab and click on the view command in the view group. Then pull down the view menu and choose design view. A save as dialog box appears. Enter the table name and click the okay button. The saved table will open in the table design. Fill in the field name, data type and description for each column field in the table. The student ID field has already been filled for your reference. Fill in the information for the fields as follows: field name, data type, description, student ID, number, the unique identifier for a student, first name, text, the first name of the student, last name, text, the last name of the student, street address, text, the street address of the student, state, text, the home state of the student, zip 
number the zip code of the student a figure showing the design view with the new table definitions fill is given below viewing and adding data to a table data can be added deleted or modified in tables using a simple spreadsheet like display viewing data to view a single table's data highlight the name of the table and then double click on the name of the table in this view of the student table shown in the figure below the fields columns appear across the top of the window and the rows or records appear below added fields in a table adding data to add data to the table simply type in the values for each of the fields columns press the tab key to move between fields within a record use the up and down arrow keys to move between records enter the data as given below saving a table to save the new data click the office button and choose save from the menu that appears if you are saving the table for the first time type a name for the table and click okay some more you should decide on a naming convention for the objects in your database and use it consistently modifying data to modify existing data simply navigate to the record to be modified use the arrow keys and the delete or backspace keys to change the existing data deleting a record to delete a record first navigate to the record to be deleted then pull down the delete button in the records group in the home tab and choose the delete record option tick the correct option